Hey everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. Um, I have survived Hurricane Harvey. It was a pretty scary week. Um, I do have a little bit of medicinal fluids. This is my um, Ryan Ginger in my root candle glass. These glasses clean up really easily and they're really nice. This is a large bear glass. I have a couple of these and I have a couple small bear glasses as well. Anyway, it's Ryan Ginger. Just what the doctor ordered. So, yes, Harvey was here in Texas. Um, I'm okay. I do have a small little leak in my upstairs bedroom closet um, that my homeowners association is responsible for the roof. So they're coming to look at that this week. There's Stella. And other than that, I did okay. Um, the first morning, it's like it kind of started on Friday, Saturday rain rained all day Friday rained all day Saturday Sunday I got up and um, my street was flooded which it has never done some of my neighbors um, have been here 25 30 years and they have never ever seen this street flood it was that bad but it receded overnight and the drains were full like I kept every time like every couple hours I would check out and what I would go out back behind my house there's a drain there and it was you know overflowing and then we would get like an hour's respite no rain and the drain would go down just enough that it didn't come into the house now on my back patio is I have a bricked patio um, and there's a couple of low like little divots in the patio like we're just this you know the bricks have settled and sunk and so those little divots would fill up and I would just push them out with a big push broom. I was pushing out the water, pushing out the water, pushing out the water. So it was a little nerve wracking. One night, I don't know if it was Saturday night or Sunday night, I have to say I was a little um, stressed out, you know, completely like eyes on the radar, like 24 seven for like, you know, 72 hours. But one night in particular, it rained really hard. And I watched those drains and I was, I couldn't keep up with pushing the water off the patio. I mean, it was just, it got ahead of me. So that night I was, it was pretty sleepless night watching the radar, watching the drains, watching the radar, watching the rain. I mean, it was just like never ending. So, you know, I made out really good. Um, there are so many people in the Houston area. They have completely lost everything. The water is up to the rafters. There's a little town outside of Houston called Dickinson. It is completely underwater. It is a really bad situation. This water is not going to go down overnight. Uh, one part of the freeway, Interstate 10, looks like an ocean. It has white caps on it. It was. It's really, really bad. They. It's devastating the loss here in Texas. Um, if anybody out there is so inclined, if you're able to do it, I encourage you to support um, Red, uh, the Red Cross.org. You can contribute specifically to Hurricane um, Harvey or to any other uh, hurricane disaster fund if you are able. I know it will be great, greatly, greatly appreciated. So, uh, okay, enough about Hurricane Harvey. I don't want to hear that name anymore. Harvey, you are blacklisted for my life. Let me have a sip on that note. Mm-hmm. 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 So, I came home, I mixed myself a drink, It was and it's been busy. I worked, so I couldn't get to work. I, I was on the B team, so I didn't go to work Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, the B team got called in, so I worked Tuesday. I stayed all night at work Tuesday. I worked Wednesday. They let us go home Wednesday. I work today, and of course, this week and now is really busy because the people who couldn't get to the hospital earlier in the week who might have been scheduled for an induction, I work in labor and delivery, they of course didn't get their inductions done, so now everybody's coming in in labor, so it's been really busy, and we're all really tired, and so that's, I'm just having a little nightcap just to, you know, how it goes for medicinal purposes. So anyway, I mixed my drink. It's like, okay, well, I have this wax sitting here uh, from the bathing garden that I was going to haul, and I never did, so let's just do it. So this was the bathing garden haul that when she posted, I think it was, I know with the date because I was coming home from Canada that day. It was um, July 27th, I believe, or 28th. And um, the owner, whose name I believe is Brandy, but I might be confused with another vendor, but I think it's Brandy made the announcement that she's going to go to ready to ship instead of pre-order, I believe, which is gonna be more of like whatever's available will be 
you know, ordered on that day. It's gonna be a less turnaround time, but there's not gonna be everything available. You can't order what you want and as much as you want. So hopefully it won't be a Hunger Games kind of deal, but you know, it may turn in that way. So I hadn't, I hadn't intended to place this order uh, for the bathing garden because A, I don't need any more wax, mainly. But it's like, as soon as she's posted, I was like, oh my God, well, I better order. Like, I was just like, I better order. I don't need it. So I ordered the, uh, it's not called Under the Sea, it's called, you know, it's called Under the Sea or something like that. Um, and even though now it's probably coming into fall, the house has been closed up for like all week. You know, the windows have been, the blinds have been, you know, shut down, it's been dark. My my patio furniture was shoved in my kitchen. It was, and I didn't melt anything for a week. I didn't burn anything for a week. I feel when I turned the warmers on yesterday, I'm burning or melting like clean, fresh air scents. So I probably will melt some of this before fall comes. So anyway, let's get into it. Uh, a couple of samples. I have the scent notes here on my iPad pulled up, so I'm gonna be, you know, looking back and forth, whatever. You will see uh, this side of my head is shaved. <laughs> this side is not. I'm trying to kind of do a shavy, kind of like curly, long, bobby thing to here. Um, it's gonna take a little while to get there. And when I told my hairdresser I wanted to do this, she said, no, that's for cool people. So, I'm cool too. I can be cool, I'm trying to be cool, but anyway, whatever. So it's it's not good now. I know I have bad hair. It's in that growing out stage. It's really gonna be bad for a while, so just bear with me. In my mind, I think it's gonna be beautiful, but I know in reality it's not gonna look anything what I think it's gonna look like, but we'll have to see when it get there. And who knows, next week I might shave everything off and just start from scratch. We'll see. I was just ready for a change. So, okay, uh, samples from the bathing garden, which um, she always includes, and I really love samples. Thank you so much, it's very, very appreciative, because she doesn't have to do that. She does it out of the goodness of her heart, so that's really, really nice. So the first one is Black Magic Laboratory, and this one is Orange Chiffon, Black Velvet Cake, Chocolate Shavings, and Creme Soaked Cookie Bites. This is bakery, yes, and I'm getting a little bit of orange. I'm not getting any chocolate. No, oh, I am getting chocolate. Do you know what this reminds me of? You know those foil wrapped um, uh, chocolate balls and it's kind of, it has orange foil on it and it's an orange chocolate ball I guess it's an orange um, that's what this smells like I hope you know what I'm talking about mmm that's exactly what that smells like those orange chocolate balls and each each section of the orange is an individually wrapped orange foil piece of chocolate slash orange okay that made no sense okay fairy bonfire and let me see, Fairy Bonfire is complex bonfire scent with notes of leaves, vanilla, sandalwood, and brown sugar. Definitely bonfire, definitely bonfire. It's a little bunt, the other one was a bunt as well. This is very similar to, not quite as sweet as um, Marshmallow Fireside, but it's very, very similar. So if you like that, um, you will really like this because it's very similar, Fairy Bonfire. Did I say that right, Marshmallow Fireside? Mar fireside Marshmallow. Marshmallow Fireside. Okay, let me have another drink. I'll, it'll clear up, clear up. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Haunted Hayride. And I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say anything about the drink. It's been a bad week and I'm having a drink, so there you go. Uh, Haunted Hayride is tart Granny Smith apples, caramel, cinnamon, pumpkin, and hints of hay. Another um, bunt. I'm getting apple. I can't specifically say Granny Smith. Um, Mostly apple. I'm not getting any cinnamon. 
that's good. I like that. I'm not really getting pumpkin either. Mostly an apple scent. Um, haunted Hayride. And the last sample is Seasonal Madness. Seasonals as seasonal. Is that what that says? Seasonal madness. Okay, so there's no um, scent description for this. Another bunt. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really getting anything. Maybe pumpkin but not a spicy note with it. Just like if you open a can of pumpkin and open the can and that's it, nothing. There's no bakery scent to it. There's no spice scent to it. That's really hard. It's, it's just a very light, I think I'm smelling pumpkin, just straight pumpkin. It's not floral, it's not bakery, it's not spice. So we're gonna go with just pumpkin. Okay, I'm going to go back to the A's because I have these in alphabetical order. Okay, and so these are the clams I got. I got nine clams. I wish you were guys were here with me having a drink and talking wax. Okay, beach bum. Sand, sea, and fresh air combined with hints of jasmine and mandarin. Um, and I, 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 smite a, I, I did smell a couple of these when I opened the box, but otherwise then I stopped smelling because I wanted, you know, an, um, um, authentic response when I opened them. Beach Bum, okay, I said sand, sea, and fresh air combined with hints of jasmine and mandarin. Mmm, that's really good. This smells like suntan lotion, like copper tone suntan lotion, not just any suntan lotion, but copper tone. I think that's what I'm smelling. I'm trying to get it out here. And of course, it's beautiful to look at. It has a sand dollar and a little conch shell or something on it. I think I'm smelling copper tone. That is like really just, oh, that's good. It smells, I mean, it just smells like the beach. It smells exactly like that. I mean, I can't, I don't know that I'm smelling all those specific things, fresh air, jasmine, mandarin, unless if those things are in copper tone, then that's what I'm smelling. But that is just like straight up copper tone. That is so weird. I mean, it's good. I like it. Because copper tone to me um, smells like going to the beach when I was a kid. We used to camp every weekend. We'd go to the beach and mom would slather us in copper tone. Um, you know, the, the brown bottle, white copper tone, that's exactly what that smells like, and that definitely reminds me of my childhood. That's really good. Okay, uh, Crackenberry. Oh, that's not nice. Sorry, that's okay. Calypso. I'm kind of like losing it, but just kind of go with me here, okay? Sea salt, vetiver, driftwood, jasmine, and coconut. I can't stop smelling this scent very fresh. Well, hopefully it is because that's definitely what I'm into for this week. I just want to smell fresh things. My house is clean. You know, everything is open and bright now. And that is what I'm smelling. Clean, fresh, fresh. I like that. That's really good. I'm, I can't take it out. It's pretty. Has a, it's a white with a little green uh, clamshell on it. Mmm. That's really good. I'm just smelling fresh sea salt, fresh air. I'm not getting a, small, a strong jasmine note. I'm not getting coconut. Um, that is really good. If you're looking just for a clean, fresh scent, that's Calypso. I wish I had ordered a couple of those because that is really good. Okay, Crackenberry. Crackenberry. Sugared pink berries, vanilla beans, and light notes of citrus and flowers. I'm trying to talk slower. This is berry. Let me see. Pretty pink wax with a shell in it. It's, it, it is berry, but not, um, like not a strong raspberry or not a strong blend.